Hi guys, uh, welcome to Grooties. Thought I'd do something a little different. Um, just lost a, a friend, uh, hadn't really been speaking for uh, seven or eight years, but just lost a, a mate Lurch, right? You know, the last so long where I've been hacking life, this is what I've been doing. So for people to understand what's happening is I now think differently. Last three to six months, I just think totally differently. Last 12 months, two years, it's just got in more and more and more and then it's just sped up. The last three months, it's been like this. Now, where I'm at is a loss in life actually isn't a loss. I have no... I have no... Um, no sadness over the loss of a man that was a big part of my life, over a man that there were stages in our lives where we were bestest, bestest friends, right? We did everything together. We did all sorts. We, we lived together, we starved together, and we ate together. Right? We starved together, me and this guy. Now, that's a big one. Somebody that will starve with you, they're true. And the dude was true. Um, his life went to shit. Everything went to shit at the start of this shop. And he ended up having a go. And he went. I sold his shit, cut his car up, sold his shit. I sold other guys' shit. I sold everyone's shit to pay bills here. And this was the reason why we didn't talk. I have dealt with this. I have released this. It's done. Now, I come up with this ideal why I have no sadness. So when someone dies, you think of that point in time. They passed away. Now, each time you think of them, until you repair, you're thinking about the pain. You're relating pain to death. Pain, death, pain, death. And every time you think of them, it hurts you. Right. Stop. Clear that. Think of all the good. Don't think about them dying. Their body stopped breathing. What we know and what we don't know is where what puts us where we are. Me, I'm here. Where I was versus here. He didn't die. He is me. He's within me. His energy was released from the body. And it's in every one of the people that actually interacted and was his friend, lover, partner, mum, dad, all of them. He is within yeah, you become one. Once they're gone, you didn't lose them. You actually gained them. They are within you now. Their energy has been returned to source. So they are closer with you once they stop breathing than what they were when they were breathing. This might be a little hard to understand. The last two days, I have not, I have not shed a tear. I might have welled a tad in the corner, but I didn't shed a tear. But what I did was I remembered, I welcomed his energy back into my soul, and understand that we are now closer than we ever were. Nothing else matters other than the fact that I can now remember all of our life together and the energy of the stuff we did. I'm going to tell you some stories. Hold on. I'm making tea. Oh, it's a little late. Things may have been a little crazy. Hold on. I'm on the last of my beef cheek. Ooh, can we see some? Uh, maybe not. It's good. Tonight's not getting rice. I had rice the last couple of times. Right. So I'll tell you a story. This is a good story about this guy. So Lurch... Lurch was a big Lurch-looking motherfucker. There's going to be some swearing in this one because 
That's the way I'm going to explain it. Right? That's why he was called Lurch. He was called Whitey. He was Andy. He was Lurch. Right? When I met him, he was Whitey. <laughs> now, it's because he was a Darwin boy like me. Right? Now, I remember cruising in there for you, in Melbourne, cruising in my uh, curry, our Effie. All right? Last long in the Effie, going to pick up the 750 IL, sus 750. I'm the reason Andy liked Beamers. I'm sure of it because after I bought them, he was buying them. He loved these cars. We we had a ball in these cars. So we blast along, going and looked at this car, blasting down the freeway, Got Daniel, my mate Waka in the in the Effie in the front on the benchy. Got Andy over one side, Waka in the middle because he was small enough. Andy was a huge dude. He had to sit on the side. And I get a phone call from my ex missus, my missus at the time. So I get a phone call from Chantel, and it's a, hey, is Andy with you? She knew I was in Melbourne. She knew what I was doing. I was going to buy a car. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? She goes. Tell him to ring his missus. She rang me asking where he was. We've been gone for a day and a half. We're gone, like two days or something. And I've like hung up, okay, no worries, love you, blah, blah, hung up. I look over and I'm like, oi, Andy, did you tell your fucking missus we are going to Melbourne? He goes, oh, fuck no. And I'm like, what? And he goes, why would I do that? She nagged me for a week before I left and then nagged me for a week when I got home. This way, when I get home, she'll just nag me for a week. Sweet man. And I'm just like, holy shit. And this was Andy. He was just this carefree dude, you know, just having a ball, living life, enjoying life. Now, why I'm telling this stuff and why I'm, yeah, wait, there is something in there. Why I'm talking about this is because this is what you're supposed to do. He didn't die. He didn't cease to exist. People don't die. I have. Death is certain. Life is not on my arms, right? This was a tattoo. corey has got this, a tattoo that my one of my best friends, Mills, has got. I'm removing death is certain. I'm removing that off my arm because I now know better. We do not die. We return to energy. We are born. Energy is put into the third dimension to the low energy realm. We are materialized. Then when we die, we return to energy. We return to the people that created us and we created because it's all created here, everything. And if you can't understand this stuff, this was really not the video to watch. But maybe it'll give you a bit of an idea and maybe some closure on a few past traumas. So when somebody dies, if you are thinking of them as deceased, gone, then what you find is you're cutting the cord between you and them and the energy that you shared and you created because both of you are creators. We are all creators. We are all part of an energy force that creates. We are creators. We're not created in the form of the creator. We are the creator. We are attached, right? So now you have to say to yourself, you say, okay. So as a coping mechanism in life, I don't need a coping mechanism because I've hacked this one. I know what it's all over. I know how it all works. I know what it's about. This is hacked. This is done. All right? So before you think I'm crazy and want to put me in the loony bin, understand that we do not die. We return to energy and we return to all of those that created us in their mind because your eyes are sending a holographical signal into your brain through your you know, you're, you're this at the back of your stem where it all goes to. Now, everyone sees things a little bit different, colours and stuff of what, what are explained and envisioned in our heads. So I'm telling you now, and anyone can try and prove me wrong, we don't actually die. We return to source. We return to energy. 
And when you return to energy, how do you call that death? It's not. I don't want a death certificate signed for me. I want to fall over in a jungle in the middle of Bolivia and rot into the ground because I'm not dying. My body will cease to breathe, but I will never die. You will never die. None of us will ever actually die because we're kept alive in energy and essence through the people we react upon. We are loved by all of these things. Even the people that hate us are a part of their life. When we become energy, we will dawn on them and they find out. Different way of looking at things, guys. Yes, things have changed. I have a whole different way of seeing everything. I have no sadness. Yes, I'm dealing with everything properly and correctly and the way that I believe my energy can and will. We don't die. We return to energy and we return to our loved ones wholly. So they become more of a part of us. We actually end up closer with them once we, once their body passes away. Once their body stops breathing, we become closer with them. And I've proven this to myself in the last two or three days. I went and had my conversation with a man I haven't seen in years. I went and had the conversation overlooking the city up at, up at my lookout, overlooking the city and understanding that I'm now actually closer with him than what I had been in years. So, I will say this. Oh, it smells so good. I've got to go buy some more meat tomorrow so I can do a slow cook. So I will say this. You haven't lost anybody. No one. When you think of them, they're still there. They're within you now. But they're probably going to see all the bad shit you do too. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying is they're actually within you now. We don't lose anyone. None of us are lost. None of us are dead. We don't lose people. Their energy that you shared with them. Oh, beef cheese stew on muffins. Oh, that's actually on potato rolls. I just eat whatever I like and I'm still losing weight. So, I hey, think something must be right. So, there you go, guys. No one's, no one's lost. No one's gone. You haven't lost anyone. If anything, what you lost was you lost the ability to speak to their breathing body. When you... Um, it's gotten a little bit long, that's all right. If you're still here and if you're a little bit upset, I'm sorry if you're understanding and you're starting to realise, that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm trying to do is try to educate you as to the fact that we never lose anybody. They get closer. They become their memories and the good times and all the rest of it. This way we're at. If you can see it this way, you've just transcended the human condition of loss. I've transcended the human condition of loss, and I'm explaining it to you in the simplest terms I can from the man that I am. Nothing is lost. You will never lose anything. It is always there. The energy that you shared with them That's created here and here. Death is an illusion. We do not die. We turn into energy and we return to source. We return to the people that created us in their hearts and their souls. If you can't understand it, hopefully one day you can. Because my understanding of it now, I'll never be sad again. Nothing, nothing can make me sad. Emotional, 
yes, I can share emotion. I can have the emotion. I can feel the emotion of what I think when it happened all that time ago. I know it. It's there. I have amazing stories of an amazing human being. And now he's energy and he's a part of me. Talk to him anytime. Hey, there's only one way to live this life. There's so much more to learn. None of us are taught. I suggest you start trying to learn new ways of humaning. I love all my friends. I love all the people around me. I love all the people that have something to do with my life. I, I will quite happily be a part of everybody's life forever. My energy will be forever. And that, that's life. That's special. See you guys.